Coach Justin Chambis here, and today I want to show you a quick, easy way to get comparable sales so that you can know exactly what's going on in a particular neighborhood with a particular property and the houses that have recently sold around it. So let's jump right in. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the seven day free trial of PropStream if you haven't gotten it yet. I don't know how you could do this business really in the long term professionally without PropStream because PropStream is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to show you a little bit why I say that today. And also in the subsequent videos in this particular module in this course, you're going to see how to do how to find comparables. We're going to do that right right now today. And then we're also going to talk about how you're going to get uh, fair market value or how to get the rate of appreciation and all the things that you're going to need in order to put together a lease option transaction successfully. So hold on tight. Let's jump right in right now to talking about doing comparables, comparables. All right. What are comparables? That's probably the first question we ought to ask ourselves and comparables are not comparables for sales. Okay. Let's, let's be very clear about that. This is not, these are not properties that are currently for sale, which is what you might find on Zillow uh, readily available popping up or on some of those other sites, Redfin, Realtor.com, so on and so forth. You're looking for comparable solds. Okay, so here is some default criteria that PropStream defaults to, but it's good advice. Actually, they default to something very similar to this, but here's what you should be looking for in comparables when you're doing comparables okay when you're finding comparables and the reason why you'd want to find comparables is so you know exactly what a property is worth okay and you can justify it with recent property sales nearby that property that are like that property okay so default criteria number one the houses that are going to be comparables for you they must have sold within the last six months prop stream defaults to 12 months i'm going to show you that here in just a moment but you should be finding properties that have sold in the last six months and you should also be finding comparable houses that are similar in square feet let's say they're 150 square feet larger or smaller maybe 200 but no more than that they are really close in size of square feet all right uh, close to in size of the, the subject property okay the property you're looking at doing a deal on your comparables need to be near the same size. Okay, number three, they need to be close to the subject property. So within 0.5 miles, that's a half a mile, okay? I actually like to modify it a little bit and bring it down to 0.3 miles. That's a third of a mile or a little less, okay? The closer, the better. If you can get it in the same neighborhood, if you can get it on the same street, even better. All right, number four, similar type property. In other words, you can't really truly compare split levels with straight ranches okay if you know what i mean a ranch is just a one floor house kind of a usually long rectangle shape property um, that can't really truly be compared to a shotgun bungalow which goes long ways deep <laughs> versus a ranch which goes long ways side to side if you're standing in front of it looking at it um, you can't really compare either one of those to a split level. So you're looking for similar type properties, similar square feet within a half a mile and something that sold within the last six months. Okay, those are the big four. Some other considerations are beds and baths. You know, do they have similar beds and baths? Three beds for the subject property, three bedrooms for the comparable properties. That would be great. Two baths, two baths. Okay, that's great garage two car garage and a two car garage or a two car garage and a one car garage is that comparable well not really but we can get that's getting close okay so we're sometimes that might be the only thing we can find is around and so we, you know that might be, not be really a great comparable for us but it might be something that we kind of can use to consider something while we're looking for something better Okay, other considerations are uh, you want to exclude, I'll show you how to do that, exclude all the properties that you don't want to consider as comps. Um, year built, all right, you want to get something in the same era, 
All right. So in other words, you can't compare properties that were made, built in the early 1900s with properties that were built in 1965. Okay. After about the 1950s, that's when all of the modern day building codes and methods and what have you came into being. And so there's really some standardizing with how they do things and the way they should do things. Before the 1950s, it was a little bit more Wild West. Okay, so some of those properties, especially if you're selling to, um, you know, somebody that's that's savvy, um, they're going to know, you know, that uh, these properties are, they're going to need a little bit special care and updating because there's not, uh, there's not some of the standardized work done in it that you find in properties made after 1950s or so. So your comparables need to be in the same era of time, year built. Number four, subdivision name. Like I said before, if you can get it in the subdivision, great. Um, if, but at least get it within a half a mile, all right? Um, number five, MLS or public record or both. I recommend doing both. And I want to show you how you can uh, save these comps. And I want to show you how you can then um, create your own report. And so let's jump right over to PropStream right now and we'll take a look i just picked a random address and you can see it pulled up just fine and there's a lot of properties here that it, it it's found in that in that area the green one here is the subject property i'm going to go ahead and uh since i put the address up here in the address bar and it pulled it up and it found it i'm going to go ahead over here to the right i'm going to click details and it's going to pull up this property's details you can see here in the middle in the second section i have comparable and nearby listings if i click this button here It'll open up comparables for me, and you can see that it does automatically default to certain criteria, all right? It sets a year, 12 months back. We're looking for comparables that are 12 months back. I'm going to move that up to six months, and then uh, we're going to change this uh, square feet. The original square feet of this house, the subject property, is 2,242. Okay, so we're going to move this down to, let's say, 2,000. And we're going to move this to 2,450. All right. So we're kind of getting closer. And you can see there's still a bunch of possible comparables over here. I'm going to go ahead and change this here to the, uh, the distance to the subject property. I'm going to change it to 0.3 miles instead of 0.5, just like we discussed a minute ago. And you can see down here on the map, it's 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 drawing me in now. And there's there's a few comparables now. So we're getting really close and dialed into the property itself, which is great. All right. Now you can see over here we have four possible comparables. It'll be easy for me to slide over here and check what they sold for and check what they what which sizes are, the square feet and the beds and the bathrooms and so on and so forth. It, it would also be really cool of me if I could go over here to the map and click this pencil. You see this pencil button? This pencil button, if you click it, um, it'll allow you to come down here and you can draw. Now, if you'll notice, the way the United States is, um, it's, it's, you see these blocks? These are city blocks, all right? These are um, what we call pockets, all right? So you can see the subject property here, the red flag is in a pocket all right it's actually in a pocket with another house it's really close if i was wanting to just look at houses in this pocket or maybe i wanted to look at a little bigger pocket all right all i would do is come over here i would click the pencil button and you see it turned my cursor into a plus sign now i can come over here i can click the map and then come over here to another corner of the pocket and click that and then come down here to the other corner and click that and then come over here to the last corner and click that and now i'm only pulling comparables okay that are within this particular zone where i've drawn all right i'm going to hit search and that's going to pull up only the comparables within this zone now hopefully i got the right yep see there's only one right there that's the closest one so that is yet again another way to find properties that have sold recently 
right near the subject property and even in the same neighborhood or the pocket. If I knew the neighborhood from Zillow, I could easily type the neighborhood in here. Uh, let's call it happy neighborhood uh, just for fun, I'm guessing. And if there were, if it was happy neighborhood, it would pull up all the comparables in that neighborhood, which are going to be very likely great comparables for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset this because I have done a lot here and I've, I don't know if I have the exact comparables I'm looking for just yet. I haven't really investigated the particular details of these properties yet. So I'm going to come up here and hit this reset button and I'm going to take things back to the way they were when I first started. I want to show you, once I find these comparables, I'm going to come over here to the left and I'm going to click that button and I'm going to uncheck mark all of these one, two, three, four, five, all the way down, all these properties listed right here. I'm going to uncheck them or I could check them all, but I'm going to uncheck them here and I'm just going to check two or three. Let's assume that I've found that these are good comparables right near the property. All right. So I have four really good comparables that I like. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click save comps. All right. When it says this action can only be performed on saved properties, would you like to save this property? I'm going to click OK. And it should ask me if I want to save it to a particular group or if I just want to create a new one or where I want to put it. And I'm going to put it in a group I like to call a VIP test group. That's where I run a lot of these tests. OK. All right. So I've saved that now. Now that it's saved, I can click this actions button, you see right here by the save comps button. I can click the actions button and I can view a comp report. I can export comps or I can export comps CSV. Now, let me show you what it looks like when I view a comp report, okay? It's gonna take a few seconds for it to do its thinking. <clears throat> now that it's done, it's downloaded this comp report for me. Look how professional this is. All right, real nice comp report, real easy for me to find. The comparables, it has nice maps, it has nice information, all of the details about these properties, everything that we would want to know about this particular set of comps to justify our offer or to make us feel better about our offer. So now we know what the comparables are and we have a nice comparables report. All right. So just make sure when you're going through here that you adjust these as you wish you again you may want to adjust the bedrooms and baths uh, you definitely want to adjust the date all right and you definitely want to adjust the square feet and you definitely want to adjust the miles don't forget you want to come up here and click both okay and get public record and mls but go ahead and fill in some of this information and whittle it down to a handful of really good comparable solds that are close to the subject property that you're looking at. And that should give you really good confidence of what these properties are worth today as it is today on this market today, because recent houses in that area, just like that one, have sold in the last six months for this amount. So that's a real good thing to give you confidence when you're making your offers. And when you're putting lease option deals together is to understand how to get comparables and sometimes it's helpful to have a comparables report so that you can show the homeowner exactly what his property or her property is worth and you can get the deal closed up. All right. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you again later and the subsequent videos in this module where we're going to dig into how to find other pertinent property data. All right. Until then, have a good day. It's not a game, it's a red stick.